Hi, hi, chaps. How you doing? Okay. Um, Ollie, uh, how does it feel to be in a World Cup quarter final? It's the sort of thing that, you know, sort of everyone kind of dreams of, isn't it? But now you're sort of in the week of and almost at the game. How, how does it feel that it's reality? Yeah, very, very exciting. I think the boys are, are hoping that, well, wish that Sunday was a bit closer. But, um, you know, we've worked very hard to get here. Um, and the boys are just, you know, really excited. I think I speak on behalf of the whole team when they say they're just ready to rip into Sunday and you know, we're really looking forward to it. Steve's been clear, obviously, on kind of across the summer and across these four weeks, taking one, you know, theme and building on it and, and just building methodically. And you've clearly done that and you're in you're where you wanted to be. You kind of ticked off all all the markers, haven't you, to this point. How much more do you think you need to sort of step up this weekend to, to beat Fiji? Yeah, we know what a great team Fiji are. Obviously, we played them a few weeks ago um, and they turned us over at Twickenham. So, um, you know, the preparation has not been too different for us in terms of um, the weekend. Very similar structure in the week. Very, obviously, there's a lot of energy around the place. Um, there has been for the whole tournament, but now you're into, you know, proper knockout rugby. So, um, and the boys are really, really excited and really buzzing for it. Um, but other than that, not a lot's changed in camp. Um, like I said, it's been a fairly normal week or as normal as it can be in a quarter-final week of a World Cup. If, um, in terms of the breakdown, I appreciate there's probably a little things, a few little things to tidy up from last week. But if you do that, that, there were points also in last week's game where everything did click into place, didn't it? Like certainly for your try, like you talked about previously. But I mean, if you can get those things more right more often, is that really where you're looking to be? This point? Yeah, I mean, ideally in a game of rugby, everything you plan in the week happens, and you know you have the perfect picture. But we know that never happens because. You know, there's another team that have planned exactly the same and they wish for everything that they've planned for to go right. So um, we know there's going to be times in the game where things don't go right for us and um, you know, a big thing for us is how we react. Um, but then as for the stuff that does go right, like I say, we've worked hard in the week, we've prepared, we feel like we've done our homework and now it's just about going out on Sunday and executing that. Yeah, um, just off the back of, of last week, you were in a bit of a, of a difficult hole as a, as a team at one point, but you did keep your heads, you did find a way to, to win the game. And has that given a sense of, of, of calm and, and, and certainty within the squad that you'll find a way? Is that for Ben? Or for well, either of you, really. Yeah, um, yeah I, th I think we've seen that over the last probably four weeks, five weeks, we've, we've won in four different ways. Um, <clears throat> so I think we're, we're growing as a squad in terms of experience, I think. A lot of the boys that have, have been in this position before and there's a few of us that haven't and the few of us that haven't feel like we're learning pretty quickly in terms of that stuff. Um, and, you know, like I said, each win has been slightly different uh, and, you know, we've taken pride in all the wins. We've also taken the lessons as well. Like, every win's thrown up a thrown up something that we have probably haven't thought about or thrown up a, an area in our game that we knew we needed to, to improve on and it's been magnified in that way. So... Um, yeah, we we felt like every game has been a good dress rehearsal for the next one, and and Samoa certainly felt that way for for hopefully what will come this weekend. I mean, for you last week, Ollie, you, you're running down the the wing with 15 yards to score of a try. Not often, perhaps, lock forwards end, end up there, but that is in, indicative of the the way the team can play if it gets itself right and 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 hits those performance markers. Yeah, I think we've got. You know, we've got multiple players who can, can play all sorts of different roles. You, know, you look this weekend, Marcus at, at fullback. Um, you know, I've played a lot at six in my in my time at club, so finding myself out on the edge isn't too, you know, unfamiliar. And you know, working with Courtney, um, you know, it's something that you know this team's great for is working together, learning off each other, fixing problems on the run. And you know, we happened, you know, you know that situation arose where I was out there and. Courtney was off doing his thing in the middle, so you know, it just happened happened to be there. But I think that's the nature of the squad, is everyone's willing to learn. And even if it isn't where you, you feel most comfortable, then lads will more than happily put themselves their hands up and, and throw themselves in, in in situations like that. Hi, guys. Um, we had Joe and Dan up here just before you, and they were saying it's their their last campaign, their last dance, and that probably applies, obviously it doesn't apply to you guys, but applies to a few, few people in the squad. And I think Courtney said it's going to be his last World Cup, but... Can I just ask you both what you've learned from Courtney playing alongside him and um, the longevity to sort of get to a World Cup in such an attritional position uh, and role that he plays in? 
Yeah, I'll start. Um, well, firstly, the, the big thing, I've not spent a huge amount of time with Courtney probably before this campaign. It's just how relaxed he is off the pitch. He's, he's a, it's amazing, really. You look at him and it's a pretty daunting bloke to stand next to, to talk to. Um, but he's so relaxed, such a good leader for the group in terms of probably a different kind of leader to the likes of Owen and George. Um, very much, you know, trusting the group to get the job done in, in, in their own way. And um, I guess that's what made Courtney great is he's kind of made... Um, that position his own uh, he's very different to maybe other sixes in, in, in around the world and um, you know we, we know playing against him quite a lot in the premiership what a great player he is um, and just touching on what you said there in terms of his longevity and what is such an attritional position is 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 unbelievable to play 100 caps for England um, is unbelievable and to play as many World Cup games as he has is, is again um, a feat that I'm not many not sure many will will repeat um, and I think that's testament to the work him and um, his work at the club, his work here uh, over such a long period of time and, and you know, he's still, one of the, I think, one of the best players in the world. Um, playing with him week in, week out, I, I firmly believe that and he's, he's a player for the big stage and hopefully we, get, we see that on the weekend. Yeah, I'll just echo Ben, really. Um, you know, Courtney often, you know, he speaks a lot, in, a fair bit in the week, but he's one of those people that leads by action and, um, you know, in such, like you say, such an attritional position on the field, that's often quite a tough thing to do week in, week out at international level. Um, for him to have done that over 100 times is, is quite remarkable. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll see it a few more times um, in this tournament. But, um, yeah, he's just, uh, especially for me, in a, in a position I play, very similar to him, he's uh, a, a great role model, role model uh, for me and, um, you know, someone to, to aspire to. We've heard uh, a lot today about how uh, great of a team Fiji are, but they lost to Portugal last week and nearly got out of the World Cup. I guess you've, uh, uh, you've reviewed this game quite closely. How, how do you explain that defeat? Um, well, first, I thought Portugal were brilliant. I thought um, we saw the value of, of what a World Cup can do and, you know, games like that, there's not many, it won't happen every calendar year. It only happens really at World Cups. Um, oh, look, it was, it was a game where um, we saw the value again of momentum. Uh, Portugal were up and then uh, I think Botti got a yellow card and, and kind of um, doubled down on, on their advantage. And then you saw Fiji trying to come back at the end. I think it was a, another classic World Cup game. And again, Portugal were brilliant. Fiji, for, for, for a lot of that game, were very good as well. But um, I think there was some probably highlighted some points in the game where if you if you front up against Fiji in certain aspects of the game, um, you know you've got a better chance of winning. So um, look, it's something we'll do. We'll probably do it in a slightly different manner. Um, but, you know, hopefully um, that's a good blueprint for, for the weekend. Uh, Ollie, just on Freddie, uh, you obviously close close with him how has he been obviously he's had such a great start to his international career but he must be very disappointed to miss out on a big one like this yeah i think um i spoke to to freddie when he we found out and um obviously he was gutted it's a world cup quarter final and you know every one of the 33 players that we've got here wants to be playing um but you know the nature of the game is only 23 can be picked um but he's been fantastic in the week ha, ha, um as have the the rest of the, the boys that aren't playing in terms of preparing us, Steve speaks every week about it being a 33-man effort. Um, it's not just done on, on match day. What we, the work we do in the week is is massive to going out and, and putting a performance on on the pitch. And those guys that aren't playing are, are so important to that. And um, you know, Freddie, as just like I say, as has the other guys, they've been brilliant all week in terms of preparing us.